Now at 11, we're learning more about the shocking death of a kindergarten student who collapsed at school this morning. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. It happened at Cypress Creek Elementary in Ruskin today. Our Ryan Raish has been following the new developments and joins us live. Ryan, what else have you learned tonight? Well, Jameson, late this evening, the sheriff's office released the name of, of this six-year-old boy who died suddenly at Cypress Creek Elementary School behind me. He's identified as Jose Pinta Rosa. As you mentioned, he's only in kindergarten. At this point, investigators don't know of any sort of pre-existing medical condition that he had, but they know just a couple hours into the school day, he got sick, and it went downhill fast. Hearts go out to the, the family of the little one. It's very, very sad. Be definitely praying for them. Parents were stunned late this afternoon when they got a phone call from the principal of Cypress Creek Elementary informing them of the unfortunate death. It happened around the lunch hour. Six-year-old Jose Pinto Rosa complained to a school worker that he did not feel good, and that person brought him down to the nurse's office where he collapsed minutes later. The investigators say the school immediately called 911 and Pinto Rosa was rushed to the hospital but it was too late. The child was reportedly happy, uh, no problems, came to school uh, without any illness. The sheriff's office says there was some type of medical observation that may explain the boy's sudden death, but that has not yet been released. Meanwhile, the school district is ensuring parents there's no indication the tragic loss has anything to do with a contagious illness. But until the medical examiner, uh, you know, does their job, then uh, we're still going to have some unanswered questions. We don't know what happened exactly. Now, we've been told that counselors will be on hand tomorrow here at Cypress Creek Elementary School to help students and teachers cope with the sudden loss of this student. Live tonight in Ruskin, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.